Copyright Society of Nigeria, Kosan, has in recent times been in the news for reasons ranging from leadership tussle to the suspension of operation license by the Nigeria Copyright Corporation, and more recently, reports have emanated on the expiration of the operation period of the Copyright Management Organization. Well, to help us shed more light on what is going on the royalty collecting body is the chairman, Mr. Tony Okoroji. Thank you for joining us. Thank you so much uh, for inviting me to Channels TV. Also here is Mr. Joel Ajayi, MD Gospel Choral Records. Thank you for joining us. Thank you very much. Uh, Mr. Koroji, what's happening at Kosan? At Kosan, we have a mantra, you know, I let the music pay, you know, and if you ask anybody who is a true member of Kosan, he will say to you, Kosan is uh, working, you know, I think what has happened is this, you know, uh, 10 years ago, in fact, nine years ago, I was told that collective management of copyright will never work in Nigeria. I was repeatedly told that Kosan will never thrive. And Kosan has thrived more than anybody expected. You know, if you come to what we call the magnificent Kosan house in Ikeja, you know, you'd be surprised that we put together, you know, such a great building within so short a time. We are licensing intellectual property use in Nigeria. We are collecting royalties and we're distributing royalties. Uh, two, so two years ago, we commissioned the magnificent Kosan House. You know, it was a, a fantastic event. You know, we built that place without one penny of government money. We did it without borrowing any penny from any bank or any institution. We did it on our own, and we don't owe a penny outside of that. But commissioning it also meant that we commissioned covetousness. We commissioned uh, anger in some quarters. We also commissioned people who want to take it over because they can see that this thing is working. You know, so people who were asleep while we are working are suddenly awake. That's a Nigerian thing, but that should not drive us away from continuing to do the good work that God has asked us to do, because I believe that musicians across Nigeria are proud of Kosan and they want, uh, you know, and when you have uh, the kind of huge numbers that we have, uh, I think it will be uh, unexpected that there will be somebody who will say, okay, paint this right, uh, paint this red, and some of that person will say, pen this blue. That's part of development and that's part of democracy. Okay, Mr. Jai. Yes. Sir. You were nodding your head when you were talking about the achievements mm. at Cousin. Achievement at Cousin is not one man show, it's a collective work of right owners who have contributed one way or the other, whose catalogs were actually used to collect money. And their personality also speaks volume that we are working together. There's no way anybody will say, I, in Kosun, that it will be right. And I will always say that it's supposed to be we, that I build a house, I do this or that, shouldn't be the conversation. Some people are behind whoever will be the head. Those who paid somebody the chairman, we have responsibility too. So, Kosun has been working really, but we are not satisfied the way we were working. We are getting money, we could have gotten more if we work the right way, if we give a and B, their rights at the appropriate time. If Kosan is working, it's not working for itself. It's working for the right owners. And the right owners say, you have collected 10 naira, you are squandering this money. I need my money. Those who are dying of our artists will not come back to enjoy the money. They will not I, enjoy the house. I beg your pardon. Are yeah. you saying that Kosan is collecting money on behalf of some artists and the artists are not receiving such monies? They are not happy in what they receive. Is there no 
formula for working out what comes to them from what is received? The formula, that is what we are complaining about. What is this formula, please? The formula is that we have up to 30% to manage Kosun. Mm -hmm. But by the time we go to our accounts, we spend more. Too much on frivolities, too much on things that do not concern the artists. Kosun asks for example, is not, um, not our target. Let the artist be happy. In other words, um, any money that comes in, 30% of it remains with Kosun and 70% will go to the artist. Go to the artist. So how many percent are the artists getting right now? Well, we, every year we work out what has come in, what has been spent. At a time, we have to apply to NCC to give us a waiver on that 30% because of the need then. And they give us a graduated waiver. Waiver, what does that mean? That we can exceed that amount for some time. I think for about three years. And we came back to that 30%. But if you look at our account for 2018, as an example, we spent all that we collected and we have to go back to our old reserve to pay money. So we have exceeded the limit. But doesn't what you get depend on what comes in? <laughs> yes. Good That's question. what I mean. Good question. We collected 200 million <laughs> and we spent well over 300. <laughs> Is that true, yeah. Mr. Good? Um, first of all, you know, what Mr. Ajayi is talking about is a product not of FBI or CIA or EFCC, is a product of the information that comes out from Kusun to every member. We are very transparent, we are very accountable. You know, Kusun is the one institution in the Nigerian creative industry that audits its account every year religiously, has an annual general meeting. There is a process. I'm a believer in processes, right? Um, we have thousands of members, and any member can say, I don't agree with this. I don't agree with that. And the person has a right to say, I do not agree with this. But the question is, what have the members through the institutions have agreed to? You know, and that's what remains. We do not do any distribution without taking it to the members and say, these are the facts. What should we do? And we have an annual general meeting, and we will make those decisions. Yes, there will be people who will not be happy with the decisions made, but are they in the minority? You can't impose your will on the majority of the members. And I've said this over and over and over again. You can't say, because I don't like it, it's not working. You know? What has built Koson and kept it working is because we follow our rules consistently. But if you're following your rules consistently, yes, in please. 2017, members yes. of your board broke out and started another organization. No, nobody started another organization, right? Or they named somebody else as a chairman instead they, they, of you. No, fine, they did, right? And the members of the organization, our General Assembly, which is the supreme organ of our organization, acting within Article 8 of our rules, saying that the supreme members of organization have the last authority, said, no, we do not agree with that decision. You know, this is our decision. We have overturned that decision. And if there is somebody who didn't like that, you don't just go on social media and start accusing people. You go to court, you know. This week, I was very, very happy. You know, there are two decisions of Nigerian courts that made me happy. The decision on AIT made me happy, right? Mm -hmm. You don't just, this is not jungle, you know, this is not a banana republic. You make decisions and people can go to court and challenge them. I'm not a, a, a wonderful fan of Okorocha, you know, but the decision on him made me happy. You know, if you've declared the man senator, the only way you can turn, the, turn it back is for a court to say he was not properly elected. You can't say you will deny him his certificate. And I'm a believer in the rule of law. If we have done anything within Kosun that you think is outside the law, go to court, 
challenge it, and I will respect whatever decision you know the court has taken on the issue that you mentioned. When they say the, they appointed a new chairman, some members of Koson went to court, and the court ruled and told the person, "Do not parade yourself as chairman of Koson." But there are those who are, who are concerned that that might have led to the suspension of the CMO license. Again, you go back to the CMO license. The suspension of the CMO license is almost like what happened to AIT. Some guy sitting in his room says, uh, because of X, Y, Z, I suspend. And I said, no Nigerian should have that kind of power over thousands of people, right? If you have such issues, take them to court. Let the other party join you in court and say, we want to suspend this license, right? And this is our reason. And let's challenge you. You can't do that unilaterally. Of course, members of Kosan went to court, and the court said, we are suspending the, so, the purported suspension. That is where we are. So we are acting within the laws mm. of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, and Kosan is working and working well, and there are people who are unhappy because Kosan okay, is Tony, working. Tony. I'm going to ask you to break it down for us. Yes, please. So that we can adequately look at his complaint. That yeah. monies are coming in, but are not reaching the artists. That's not true. That's absolutely not true. Koson has distributed close to a billion naira, which people thought could never have done. And if there's any well, artist... Relax now. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm, I'm telling you the truth because well, sometimes I get upset wait. when people make these accusations on wait. social media. Oh, okay. Wait. Okay, good. Wait. Let's say Alero do now. Yes. I'm an artist. Yes. Now, at the end of the month, or I don't know how regularly you send out your checks, you yes. send me a check. Yes. So, how do I know, okay, you sent me one million. Yeah. How do I know that one million is actually what I'm entitled to? Do you have anything to show me, to prove to me, yes, we've taken out our 30%, the remaining 70% equals one million, which check is right here in front of you? Gosun Wright runs a very effective administration at Gosun House in Ikeja. Very well trained people, trained around the world. I don't get personally, never, I've never got involved in how much goes to one person or the other. We have a management that deals with that. Okay. And if any member of Gosun, you know, is unhappy, a question, a question you yeah. go there. Okay. And many have done that. They go there and question, and the report is given to them. And my reading is that a lot of people are satisfied with the report given to them. Is it El Dorado? It's not El Dorado. We are building the structure that never existed. Musicians are proud that they are getting money now. There was a time when they were getting absolutely nothing, zero, right? You know, I had you ask a question on the previous uh, this thing. Why do we destroy everything that we build? Why can't we sustain things? Do not forget I was president of PMAN. PMAN was a great organization in Nigeria. I don't know where it is. We have built Koson. Koson is doing well, but in every environment there are people who are never happy. They'll continue to complain. No, we're not getting as much money as we, you know, we are supposed to get. No, there's no Nigerian who will tell you he's getting as much money as he's supposed to get. But I understand that. I will continue to work at this process. And I okay. beg my brothers and sisters in Koson, give us some time. Give us your support. It will get better and better. Okay. Tearing the organization down okay. is not the best way to go. Okay. Mr. Jai. Yes, madam. You have heard his explanation. I have so him quite how well. is it that you are saying that what you should get is not what comes to you? First, let me address the issue of its removal, which he has mentioned. We have a memat that dictates what can be done at a particular meeting or the other. For an EGM, like everybody in corporate organization, we understand it, extraordinary general meeting. There is an agenda in that notice. And you cannot just come and put that one down and start doing other things. For its reinstatement, the, the members were misguided to take <laughs> decisions that they did not take. They cannot install a chairman mm -hmm. 
as members. <laughs> and by the is man, it not, is it not via election? We, election, the election for a chairman is by the vote. And oh, not by the General Assembly. Okay, okay. So the General Assembly can appoint directors. Okay. It is the, those okay. people that were appointed as directors that will now sit down and say, within themselves, we choose you as chairman. I have a minister here, the last one that he was appointed, that was 2015. We went back to the board room to appoint him as our chairman then. Then... That uh, member, number section 44 says, the members of the board has the right to appoint one of them as chairman and determine his tenure. And that is what we did December 7. But on December Putin, what year? December 7, 2017. 2017. The members were misguided. In the sense that section 44 says, the Members of the board only can appoint their chairman and determine his tenure. Mm -hmm. And that is what we did on December 7, 2017. But unfortunately, coming to an EGM, which has a single agenda. No, hang on, hang on, just a moment. <laughs> Who was appointed the chairman in, in, in 2017? If you're more okay. If you're more okay. at that December 7, okay. 2017. Okay. If you're more it was an election that okay. was open. He was there. At his removal, we had six against four. Okay. At election of if we have seven to three. Okay. Raskimono of Are late. Are you a member of the board? Yes, now. Okay. Raskimono of late voted for his no removal. But when it's coming to appointing the Fiyo he voted for him. So the many only three, that is himself, Azizat, and Honorable Udebunam on his side. All the remaining ten, we are 11 on the board, but one has not been attended. That is Ayuba, who has not been attending the meeting for a long time. So we were 10. So 7 to 10 appointed Fiyo Morebe. And surprisingly, the next Saturday, he put on his Facebook his acceptance <laughs> openly. <laughs> oh, okay. Acceptance of <laughs> removal. He said, that is what is titled, what is in the name. <laughs> but not knowing that there are some other scheming for December 19, when the things were turned around. December 19, 2017. Okay. That was the EGM. And Surprisingly, Professor Waifo, who had led attends such meetings, was brought from Benin to come and share another meeting, which we didn't know. We are holding another meeting <laughs> for the board, for the society, with some consultants, not knowing that the scheme was going on at the arena. So, Before we so got what there... what happened on December 19th? December 19th, that was when... We came to the meeting. Before we got there, they've done some scheming to install uh, Professor Wafo as temple chairman for that meeting. It's okay. But as we were going on in the meeting, the GM introduced if you already be as a chairman to come and speak. Then we, everything became rowdy. Who appointed you chairman? I rose to say, well, Things have changed in the boardroom. If you are not properly informed, as the GM, GM said, I was right. But professors took to his uh, gun. He kept microphones to himself so that we could not talk. <laughs> I had a picture of it. We, the people, could we, not talk. That we are saying there is a change of government could not talk. Eski Agola wanted to talk, he didn't give him the microphone. If he was on the podium, okay. could not have the microphone. I have the picture. This was December 19, 19. 2017. So I would say, what kind of, so what what kind of chairman is? since then? Well, 
See, we by our own reckoning, yes. we have a pay or more than our chairman <laughs> Leg legitimately. Has he been performing the duties of the chairman? Well, we wanted to perform. We came there in March to hold a meeting. I think March 10, 2018. We were locked out. We were locked out. But we decided, well, this is our society. We held a meeting at the gate, at the entrance of the of the house, and we had resolutions which was forwarded to him, to every other board members. Our decision was forwarded to them. So it's not going to be as if if you were and co. We still carry them along. So for us that believe in truth, we have a Fiamoregbe as our chairman of today. Okay. So Your reaction, sir? Well, not my reaction. Uh, number one, I like all the nice things that uh, Mr. Jai has said, but that is his story. You know, I want to say this matter has gone to court, and there's a court decision on it, regardless of what he says now. And the court has asked uh, Mr. Morugbe, so stop parading yourself as chairman of Kosan. On the issues, he said, I have the Kosan Mehmet here, and I'll read this. Notwithstanding any provision in these articles, the General Assembly shall be the supreme organ of the society with powers to vary, annul, or otherwise modify any decision or action of the management board. That was what the General Assembly simply did. Management board, we refuse what you have done. We have the authority, the supreme authority in this, and we've done that. But all this is really, at, at this moment, with all due respect, cock and bull. The courts have decided all these issues, you know, and it's history. And what I will ask Mr. Jai and his friends, you know, what I will appeal to you people, do not throw away the baby with the bath water. Work towards the progress of the society, for the good of the society. You might be a handful of people, but the society is made up of thousands of people. You cannot impose your will on the thousands of the members of Kosan, you know, who are happy with the organization and want the organization to make progress. Okay. We will Mr. only... Kodi, yes, please. If I, if I may come in here. Yes, please. The, you've been chairman for a while. Yes, please. And some of the artists have accused you of mismanagement. Is there anything wrong with having an, a forensic audit, an external audit? Again, a very interesting question. Mr. Jai, who is here, you know, for a long while was chairman of our finance and audit committee. I have the Kosan audited report here, and I'll bring them out because each time people say these things on Facebook, they make it look uh, very, very sexy. You know, <laughs> you know? <laughs> these are the audit reports of Kosan 2009, 2010, 2011, up to 2018. This is 2018. Before now, the audit reports were signed by Mr. Joel Ajayi, who is sitting here. He conducted, supervised the audits, signed the audits, right? And then suddenly I hear forensic audit. I say, which audit are you talking about? And this is the way it works. The audit committee does its audits sends its audit to the board, the board approves it, the board prints the reports, sends to all the members at least 21 days before time so members can look at it. Then you have an annual general meeting, the members debate the report and approve the report. And all of these have been approved for all these many years, right? I didn't do the audits. And then you come and say, Chifokoroji, you know, we want another audit. And I say, I have looked at the rules. I have looked at the uh, uh, Companies and Allied, Allied Matters Act, under which there is nowhere where I have the power to say go and do another audit after the members. 
have approved the audit. But so, it's not so, within my powers. I can't do that. I do have information here. Yes. And some names were actually mentioned. So yes. I asked for permission to call those names. Artists like Two Face, yeah. MI, Rugged Man, Banky W, yes. Sant Altan, yes. accused you of mismanagement. Well, they can't accuse me of mismanagement. I well, accused the board of mismanagement. <laughs> they can't accuse them. Let me say so. Let me say this, right? If you mention Two Face, Two Face is my friend, or Rugged Man or Banky, they are my very good friends, right? But I do not remember any annual general meeting that Two-Face or Banky or Rugged Man came to. I do not remember that any of them came to any annual general meeting or participated in this process. But I also know that Efo Morogwe is a manager to Two-Face Idibia, right? That's his manager. And I can understand the relationship that exists. You have either group think or I have to side my guy, you know. But that is within their right. But their right does not go above the rights of the thousands of members of Coastal spread across Nigeria. So if you say this is what you, you have a right to say what you want, right? And what I've done in cases where people have accused me personally is that I have gone to court and say, please, you can say whatever you want to say on Facebook or Twitter or Instagram. Bring your evidence to a court of law and establish the fact. But and that's the way I'll, our I'll nation works. So, but let me stay with you, Mr. Okoroji. Yes, please. Again, you've been chairman for a while. Yes. Would you have any problem stepping aside? No. There are two conditions under which I serve as chairman. One, that the members of Kusan elect me. I will never force myself to be chairman of Kosan for one day outside of my tenure, or, and then that I have the ability to serve them. I will not step out because uh, Mr. Jai says, I don't like you. You know, if, there's, if the members of Kosan say, this is the gentleman they want, you know, you know in a democracy, what right does anybody to, uh, to say they should not have the man they, they're comfortable with? And that's my situation, you know. And they think that the way they do this is by going on social media and campaigning and saying, uh, Two Face said this, Banky said that, 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 that. It doesn't work that way. Mr. In Jay, a democracy, you have to allow the person that the yes. people want to lead them. Mr. Jay, you're, this, is a, this is one of your audited reports. Yes. You used to sign them. Let me come from where we, we were before. We were talking of the management the election and all that, he was pointing to section 8, and this is section 44, uh -huh. that says the members of the board appoints their chairman and determine his period of which he will hold office. It's successfully put here. But does Clear. that take away from the earlier sub, uh, section he read? That says yes, the supreme, yes, the supreme, yes, the supreme, the supreme, <laughs> supreme. <laughs> Were misguided okay. <laughs> because they don't. Have, there's a section here that says the members, the supreme member, the general assembly, will go to a limit and cannot do this or that. I will, I will tell, I will show you. This is an interim injunction. It's not permanent, and that injunction has been appealed anyway. So if a court, if a court judgment has a court injunction has been appealed, where does it stay? It's an appeal. So we're not coming, but I'm not going to that. But the members give the board the power to remove you, and you have so <laughs> removed. But bringing yourself back to the so-called back, back door, through the uh, General Assembly, you call it General Assembly, somebody, we in Lagos will not receive this paper. Somebody will come from the East. Bring two, three hundred probably forms signed from the people in the village. We in Lagos will not receive, except that because we were close. How is it happening? I will not rely on that one as general member. Come to that. That is one side. On the other side, does the minority have any say in any conversation of the corporate world? You said, I signed this. Audit form papers. Yes, I did. Mm -hmm. Orlando has their papers signed by international audit firms, and the 
authority said re audit. They didn't object to the audit. Forensic audits had been carried out and sanctions were said on them. Okay, so, so you what is being wrong? The chairman of the audit committee, yes, is that I something you discover that you think <laughs> should be looked into again? I think everything should be looked into again. <laughs> because I'm not a shattered accountant. <laughs> I read account to a level, but I'm not shattered. You know. So if I did my work and someone else says, sorry, what you did is not good enough, what is wrong in you going to reach again? Okay. If you said, how because... Long have, how long have you been a part of the board? Since 2010. As long as Mr. Echivoko is. As as so as you've been with him from that time yes, till now. Sir. And you've been auditing this? No, I'm, I've not been... The, the, I think I, I when did you the, start in the audit committee? Maybe 2012. 2012. So from Somebody 2012 till date, before, yes. yes, from 2012 till date, it's been you to signing 20, off. To 2017. To 2017. So you didn't sign the 2018 audit. No, not even the 2017. I didn't even sign because. Okay, you signed till 2016. 2016. So 2017, That's... 2018 was somebody else. Yes. But you're asking, you and your group are asking that the entire entire account... entirely the whole <laughs> audit should be revisited. <laughs> Let them revisit it. If I've done anything wrong, let them bring it out. Okay. And if any other board members have done anything wrong, no, let them bring it out. No, let, and what so, some of our complaint is that a lot of job of the society are yeah. issued to your company. Okay. A lot okay. of job for our society have been issued to another, two other directors, and which we objected to. Okay. okay. The, Chief Okoji, is there anything wrong? Eh? Is there anything wrong? Yes. In the board or yeah. any group? Or any leadership authorities in the in the in Kosan calling for an external audit? No, no, these were external audits. No, 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 no first of all, but he the, has just no, said no, it. the audits we are talking about were not internal audits. These were these were audits done by external auditors, appointed by the members, approved by the members. The only way you can ever go back to these audits is to go to the annual general meeting and make your case, mm -hmm. and the members accept mm -hmm. that there is a need. I do not have power over the annual general meeting. That supreme organ of the district. So you come and say, Chief Okoroji doesn't want an audit. Chief Okoroji does not have the power you are asking him to impose. No. And if you have any no. issues outside of what we've done, you go to court and say, no. by this X, Y, Z, no. No. something no. wrong has happened here. No. The court order X, Y, Z. You don't leave no. your home no. in the morning no. and start using whatever has gone through your head. No. You don't run an organization that no. way. No. Because no. if I try to do what you're asking for, some members of the organization will go to court and challenge the go. powers to do what you're asking for. Yes. I've run organizations no, for years. No. There are no. systems. No. There are processes. No. You know, you might not you might not like what I no. do. No. And you have a right. Can, you, but, can you allow him to yes, let me you, talk? You might not like what I do, but my brother, just two weeks ago, the members of Koson across the nation re-elected me. Mm. It's their wish. Mm -hmm. You know? And why do they do that? I understand this. Look, and I have passion for it. You see, in Nigeria, everybody concludes that we are all rotten. You know, we are all, you know, uh, what, what's the word now? We are all uh, bad eggs. We are all corrupt. I've made a decision in my life that God rewards me not for what I take, but what I give. Why is everybody talking about Kusun? Because it has become successful. If Kosan was a failure, nobody would be talking about Kosan. It's well, become... Have you renewed the license, the eh? Kosan license? Have yeah? you renewed it? No, no, no. I, again, I explained that members of Kosan went to court and the court took a decision and said, for now, the suspension of the license is suspended, right? Which means that Kosan is working with a license approved by the court. But beyond all that, mm -hmm. we are in conversation with the uh, Copyright Commission about how to resolve the issues. But if you go to Cotton House on Monday, first of all, since they started this, the membership has increased. The board is solid. I chaired a board meeting just yesterday. You know, 
not one person in the management has left the organization. The organization is thriving. Do you understand it? Mm -hmm. But they want to go on social media every day and give the impression that there is this hola bula, there is wahala. You know, it seems to suit them but, to give but, the impression. But they are still collecting money. Eh? And, no, and you know the uh, interesting thing? You know, we distribute money to the same people who are complaining. They pocket the money and go and spend it. <laughs> and, and, they come back, and, yes, and they come yeah. back, oh, you haven't got, if you haven't got, go to... I don't expect it. Don't send no, it to no, me no, now. No, no, no. Go to Kosan House. And no, I will not go to Kosan now because... They will check your records. No, if you haven't I, got, I'm they will get... I'm not asking for it now. No, no, no. You will get... If it will be illegal for me no, to it is, it is. it is your right to no, get it's not my right. No, it is your right It's my right to get, but... But Under there are thousands conditions. of members of Copyright Society of Nigeria. I tell well, you, and you can talk to them. Their money. And I'm happy and I'm praying for the organization to grow. And Kosan will continue to grow. I promise them. We will not be distracted. We will not succumb to this. Uh, I, frankly, I didn't think I came here to start uh, exchanging words with Mr. Jai. Mr. Jai has been my friend. You know, he was on my board for several years. He had absolutely no complaint until the member said, get out of the board. That is why when he suddenly realized that the audit report that he signed, you know, that it sh they should be redone. Well, he, just, he, he told you that he's not a chartered accountant. And he thinks no, 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 a chartered accountant did the, he was simply the chairman of the finance and audit committee. The audit was done by a chartered accountant. And you have the management side, and you have the external auditor. Mr. Kurdi, two questions here yes, please. before I come back to Mr. Jay. Number one, if a man was doing something yes. and steps out and now says, I need that thing looked at, is there anything wrong with that? No, there's nothing wrong with it as okay. long as you follow the rules. Okay. You, you know, every member of Kosovo can wake up and say, I want a new audit. You know, so, there'll, there'll be anarchy. Okay. <laughs> so maybe you tell us how to go about calling for that meeting that will bring about an no, no, you go Is there possible for an ex is there anything in the Kosan laws that gives room for extraordinary audits or extraordinary meetings? Emergency no, no, no meetings? You, have, you have that. You know, it will be the decision of the members that whatever you are pointing out, we are satisfied there is a problem. It can't be that anybody says there is a problem, you call a meeting. Anybody, the other person says there's a problem, you call a meeting. It will never end. It will never end. You know? Okay. And the last the, the, the question is yes. you've been re elected yes. two weeks ago, you said. Yes. Is it possible for you to resign as chairman for peace to reign? Peace will not reign if I resign as chairman because what you will now mean is that the minority has had their way over the majority of the members. The majority of members of Kosovo have no issues. Then a handful of people say, no, we don't like you. You have a right not to like me. I don't say that Mr. Jai has to like me or whoever else has to like me. But you must concede to the majority of members who want Chief Tony Okoroji you know, to have their right. You can't, you know, let me repeat that I used to be president of Piman and Piman was thriving. This kind of thing came on. And people say, ah, we want this man out, we want this man out. I left. Where is P-Man? You know, I want to do it to Koson. Members of Koson say, what happened to P-Man will not happen to them. They will not allow it to happen. And we will not allow it to happen. You have your rights. If you think you have good arguments, go and bring the people to support your argument. Don't try and impose it on the members of Koson because they have said to me, don't allow these people to get away with what they are trying to do. And we are moving on. We are happy. Kosan is working. And if you come to Kosan House, and I'm inviting everybody, on Monday, we are having a big show. The Ras Kimono Memorial Day event. It will be a big this thing. And you will see people come from everywhere. Kosan is working. Sponsored. No, no Kosan is Sponsored working. Sponsored to come. You know? Oh, the people who are going to come on Monday yeah, will be sponsored, sponsored to come. You know, to come. You no, know, if you come there on Monday, you are sponsored. You know, anybody who comes out is sponsored. Why don't you sponsor people to come? Mr. You know? Jess, <laughs> yes. What do you? What would you say? Let's talk solution now. Uh, what solution. would? What would bring first about solution, peace? First solution is that Chief Okoto Okroje should allow 
for the forensic audit to come up. Those people you call my But have you heard him say that it is not in his plan? It is if, he, if tomorrow he <laughs> proposes to the board <laughs> that this thing is generating too much noise, let's go for it. That's why they're making noise. The board noise. will agree. <laughs> they will agree. One. Two, these people you call minority are the people that generate the money. Don't, don't, don't forget. The, the, the catalog of these people you call minority are here. They are the ones that generate the money that we are spending, that we are using to invite people from their villages for nothing. You invite them and you pay them stipend to go back. The EGM, we know how many... Be, wait, no, be careful talk. what no, you're saying, yes, because being recorded, I, know you, I, know, I, will, I will take you to court. I know you, I want to ask you for that, because I know it's your style. No, I will take I you to court, that is going to explain. I will explain it. I know how many vehicles you hired to bring people for EGM from Delta, from where, when we had for the, the EGM of 2017. I know you're lying. I'm blatantly lying on live TV. Okay. I saw. I saw. I said you are blatantly lying. I saw those Siena vehicles. I saw them. I know how many days, Professor. Your wife also stayed in our hotel before the before the event. I know how you sponsored Abiodun Ekwede from Benin, who is not a member of the board, who is just an agent. You are a consultant to be part of that. The man that was speaking for you is just um, a, a journalist from Benin. He's mm -hmm. not a member. Mm -hmm. I know all this. So if you tell me General Assembly, that General Assembly is your own concussion, not the General Assembly of Kosun. Because that General Assembly, you not know what you do. We <laughs> on the board that are close to you know what you do. And we are telling the world what you do. You are misguiding the General Assembly to do what is wrong, to re-elect you as chairman. It's not their work. It's not no, their. Mr. It's not their. It's not their mandate. Mr. It is only the board that and, and let me go again. No, Mr. Jai. Let me talk. No, no, let me. I, I, I didn't did interrupt okay. you. I didn't Thank interrupt. You. You. Thank you. When we were to be removed as directors, uh, there are rules. We supposed to have been informed. Before we got there, it's not by impromptu. The minutes of the EGM is more than the management minutes, and it has only one agenda on the notice of meeting, just to discuss one thing. So if you now use that one agenda to multiply decisions that were written, I have the, I have the EGM here, the report is here, as written by you, there was no notice in that EGM report that says, the, that the boss says, please vary the agenda of this meeting to accommodate this, this, and that. And you said you were called. You had a written address on that day that you gave to that journalist man to be reading on your behalf. We saw okay. everything. No, I was there. No, no, Mr. Jai. Yes. I the, know you take no, me to no, court tomorrow. No, 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 the point... But it's no, for, I'm no, the you point, to your the face. Point, no, the point I make is this. You have on live TV said, I did this, I did that, yes. I did this, I did this, all of which are wrong, some of which are criminal. Why I know you take me to court tomorrow. No, 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 no. Why don't you take go to, to court. a court of law? I don't have the money to waste. Oh, okay, fine. I know you, I have, say, you, have, you can use the society's money to go to court. That is why you are able to spend 37000 from no, 17 in no, 2017. No, no, now, I, I didn't come here to exchange words. You, have, you, have, you brought I, it. I didn't you come here to paper. exchange I didn't, words. I, I, I'm not in, I don't deal with this kind of style. What's right? Style? What's I came here so to, you know, I came here to speak about important things. And we run a great organization. And if all the litany of things you have said happened, you have right to challenge the process. I don't have the money no, to waste. No, no, if you don't have the money to waste, go home and sit down. Don't come, on, don't come on live TV and, and say things you can't prove. That is true. You know, no, 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 no. These people, that is true. decisions that courts have taken, my gentleman and lady here are not the court of appeal. Mm -hmm. You don't come if you think that the decisions of the court are wrong. You go to the court of appeal. They've been appealed. I mean, that is the way. Yeah, you wait. Has the appeal been heard yet? 
It's not yet aired. So if no, the appeal so is you on, wait. then you don't act on it. You don't act. We don't act. <laughs> no. The status quo remains. No, it's not for then you are now acting it's, on it and you say the other people should not act. It's not for you to decide. It's for the court. You have decided. <laughs> no, I'm not. You have decided. You said that the chairman, <laughs> why they are not appeal? No. You, you are giving the <laughs> an interim order and you, the, the interim uh, order has been appealed you know, I, and you are acting. You said the other people Mr. should not act. Mr. Jay, Jay can, can I make an appeal to you? Don't appeal to me. I'm not... Uh, no, no, I think there's a lot court. of frustration and a lot of misunderstanding. No, it's not a matter of frustration. But I want, don't, don't I want to that. draw your attention to the interest of the right holders, the mm -hmm. stakeholders, mm -hmm. the musicians across mm -hmm. Nigeria. Mm -hmm. You know, you made one point mm -hmm. here. I'm looking at the the articles of association. Mm -hmm. You know, Elijah Aliko Dangote mm -hmm. is very rich. Mm -hmm. You know, he has billions of naira and dollar too. Yeah, when the elections were held in Nigeria, Aliko had one vote. So did his cook and his driver and whoever. Aliko didn't have more more vote than anybody. Mm -hmm. In Koson, every member of Koson has one vote. Whether you are this or that or that or that. And the members of Koson in their thousands have expressed their will. You might not like it. And that's why we are complaining. No, but that's democracy. You know, you know that's, that's, democracy. that's the way democracy. So you don't should complain, you allow them to have their way too. Oh, no, if, if the minority can ha not have his will over the, the minority. The minority that makes the money. <laughs> it's, it's, that give you, the, that give you the, 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 the money that you are paying. No, no, no. That's, that's it. This is the catalog of the... Uh, uh, you can't keep making noise on Facebook. No, you are using the catalog of the minority <laughs> to enrich those who are not uh, you know, you you in the majority. You go follow the process. Going to, Facebook, by your own rule. going to Facebook and Instagram and talking. You are more on it than any other person. You are more on it than any other person. Okay. Um, Every Saturday right. you are there. Uh, uh, okay. uh, my brother and my sister, mm -hmm. you know, I thank you so much for inviting us here. You know, um, I think that anybody who is decent, who is listening to this conversation, understands what is going on. The point I want to make is that Kosan continues to work and work very well. Yes, we have people who have issues. We have our internal mechanisms. We will deal with the issues you know, that these people have you know, with our internal mechanisms. And anybody who expects perfection in an organization of thousands of people that all, we, are, we all sing the same song and chorus is not being realistic. My job is to make sure that Kosan does not break down. And even with everything that he's spoken about, Kosan has not broken down. It is working. And uh, Mr. Jai, you'll get the fruits of your labor by the grace of the Almighty. And so I will pray, every pray, member pray, of Kosan. You. You know, every member of Kosan will get what he deserves. That's my duty. And that's what I've sworn to the Almighty I will do. I will never be unfair to anyone. But please, when you people say the things you say, think about the Almighty, about the lies that are being thrown all over the place. That's all I ask of you. God right. bless you. Thank you very much. Uh, just before we, we let you go, this is a mail from Tunji Oni, who is Ire Tunji Oni. He says, it is only the AGM or EGM that can authorize that previously signed audits are redone. It's a lie. <laughs> it's a lie. <laughs> I don't know him. Let me explain again. It's not just about... Yes, <laughs> yes. let me explain about... again. <laughs> Ohando has international audit firms that audit their firm account every year. And the regulatory authority said, go for forensic audit. They did not say because they have an audit every year by international firm that they do not go for audit. They do not ask the General Assembly. They have General Assembly who are even shareholders who contribute money to run the company. 
Mr. Jai, let me land. No, do you know, know that they, no, do you know that the Orlando me. issues are in court? That is, as we that is a different. They, they agree to they the have audit. Gone, they have gone they to court. They agree to the forensic <laughs> audit <laughs> before the they go that, to court. The fact that they, people in Orlando wait. made a mistake doesn't mean that court That was not a mistake. <laughs> it's the right thing to do. <laughs> you may not agree with the outcome, but that forensic audit is the right thing to do now. If you don't have any skeleton in your cupboard, please agree to it. The body you call the General Assembly is your own and... Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Tony Okoroji is the chairman of I'm here to redeem this when I live in Lagos. The chairman, copyright management organization. Copyright Society, copyright of, Nigeria. Society of Nigeria. Nigeria. Uh, and Mr. Joel Ajayi used to be a member of the board. board. I'm still, still on the board. Still on the board. He's not on the board. He's the director on Gospel Choral Records. Thank you, gentlemen, for sharing your thoughts. <laughs> Thank you so much, and Thank God you. bless you. And Thank you. that Thank is Thank sunrise you. for today. Um, and then, before you let them go, let me just read out this tweet that, for the environment's sake. Ola Pablo says, buying rechargeable appliances like I bought, a rechargeable fan, will go a long way to reduce financial cost and air pollution from generators. Reducing the number of cars on the road can help, say, al allowing odd number plates on certain days. And it used to be like that in Lagos. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. We used to take the park-and-ride buses in those days. Mm. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you. And, Thank you very and very that is Sunrise today. We enjoyed bringing it to you as usual. And we look forward to bringing you a new edition Next week, I'm Alera Edu, wishing you a happy weekend and all the best and happy Democracy Day on June 12th. Indeed, and I'm Neil Tagbe. Thank you so much. Indeed, we, did, we closed with not the artists of the week, but the managers of artists. <laughs> <laughs> you know? well, thank don't you so much. An <laughs> <laughs> yeah, an but right. thank you so much. Have yourself a fantastic weekend and happy Democracy Day to Nigeria. Bye bye. Bye bye.